In today's video, I've created a way for your character's arms to show up on the view model's arms in the Roblox FPS template. Before we start, this was incredibly hard to make work, and this may be a bit buggy depending on whether you're using the blaster or the auto blaster. So I will continue to push updates to the system that will attempt to fix these bugs until they are finally fixed. In the description, you will find a free model. Once you have the model inserted into your game, open up the readme script that's inside of it. Now, you have two options that you can choose from. The first option is just having the player's arm skin color to be the color of the viewmodel's arms. This option has no bugs and works for every single viewmodel type. The second option is having the player's shirt sleeves show up on the viewmodel arms. This option is currently in beta though. Either way, one thing that you will have to do is open up viewmodel controller, which is in replicated storage, blaster, scripts, view model controller. Now go back to the readme and copy these lines of code. Then go back to the view model controller, scroll down to self and paste the code inside of here. For instance, I'll just put it over here. Though it does not matter where you put it. If you just want the player's color to show up, go to the readme and copy these lines of code. Then go to the viewmodel controller and scroll down to update. Then you can paste the code at the top. Though, if you want the player's sleeves on the viewmodel arms, go back to the readme and copy all of this code. Then go back and you can paste it at the top of the update function. Now you're all set. Let's play test it. As you can see, for the blaster, it works like a charm. It properly shows the player's sleeves on the arms with no issues. On the other hand, if we look at the auto blaster, we start to see a few issues. The arms aren't properly positioned as they should be, and the size of the arms is just the player's skin color. Now, the reasons as to why this happens in the first place is due to how I managed to make any of this possible. Because Roblox sucks and doesn't let me rotate textures on parts like you can with image labels that are inside of a surface GUI, I had to make it so it clones each arm and tilts them on their side with their own textures. The reason I did that is because on the top and bottom faces of the arms, it looks fine. But on the left and right faces, it's messed up. So cloning the arms and tilting them on their sides would act as the arms left and right faces. Now, I'm really sorry if this wasn't exactly what you were expecting. I will continue to work on the system and try to fix these bugs. But, if there's anyone to blame here, it would be Roblox Studio. Anyway, all things aside, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and commenting down below your video suggestions. And don't forget to vote on the weekly polls. Thanks for watching.